all living processes are carried out at the molecular level. So we are made up of atoms and atoms make up molecules. And the molecules of life, like DNA and proteins and sugars and lipids, etc., they're, um, they're what we're made of. It's important to study molecular sciences just so that we can understand how we work and how biological organisms function, but also so that we can come up with new treatments for important human diseases such as cancer. We've been uh, researching uh, for a number of years now on shark antibodies and it turns out that shark antibodies uh, are very small and they offer a lot of advantages if you're trying to exploit them as therapeutic agents uh, for a variety of diseases. We're trying to understand the fundamental uh, inner workings of the malaria parasite. We're trying to understand when the parasite gets inside red blood cells how it alters the properties of those red blood cells to make them sticky. My lab researches mechanisms of cell death and uh, what makes it unique is that uh, we're one of the few labs in the world that's understanding how each little piece of the cell death mechanism goes together. The first of my long love, if you like, in research has been to work on a part of the cell called the mitochondria. Mitochondria are packets, they're, uh, if you like, little factories in the cell that produce the energy for life. Uh, traditional antibodies, like human antibodies, have been used for several years now to combat a lot of cancers uh, and autoimmune diseases. Uh, and I think the next generation that might come along are these small uh, proteins uh, and sharks have them naturally in their blood. We're using molecular uh, cell biology techniques but in particular we're using a range of new imaging uh, technologies that enable us to see the malaria parasite with unprecedented detail. Every second a million cells divide in two in our bodies and every second we need to get rid of a million cells. And the way our bodies do that is that our cells have a built-in self-destruct mechanism and they activate that mechanism and kill themselves. If we could understand more fully exactly how our cells respond to demands on energy, for example, to make more of it, for example, uh, just exactly what the machinery is, what the, what the molecular machinery is for that, will help us to perhaps be able to treat things that go wrong. I like to use uh, instruments, microscopes, to actually really get down to the molecular workings of the malaria parasite. We're at the beginning of a project where we've isolated a shark antibody to a particular molecule on the surface of breast cancer cells. And in the laboratory test tube, uh, that shark antibody will kill those breast cancer cells and stop them from growing. So the reason we study this process is partly just because we're interested in, in how it works and how cells, how the body works, but also so that we can come up with new treatments for diseases such as cancer when the process of cell death goes wrong. So if we were able to do what we're trying to do, to actually find new ways of killing the malaria parasite, then potentially we could save the lives of a million kids every year. Uh, there is something nice about uh, a, a, a predator like a shark uh, being able to offer up something that maybe one day could be used to treat cancers, autoimmune diseases, those sorts of things. So my name is Professor Nick Hugenrand and uh, I'm a, a professor of biochemistry and uh, my research interests are in the in gaining molecular explanations for living processes. I'm Leanne Tilly, uh, I'm a biochemist working here in the Department of Biochemistry at La Trobe University. My name is Professor David Vaux and I'm a molecular biologist and I study the mechanisms of cell death. Uh, my name is Mick Foley, I'm Associate Professor in the Department of Biochemistry, School of Molecular Sciences at La Trobe University.